Welcome back to Stardew Valley. I'm your host, longtime listener. Be sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and comment below. Episode 18 of our JoJo run coming your way. It's Sunday the 7th, uh, so it's another day where the traveling cart lady is in town. We might go visit her, and it's another very bad luck day. That is starting to get on my nerves a little bit. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce. So we know how to make baked fish. Whenever I make this one at home, my two cats go bananas. So now we know how to make baked fish. What all are we going to do today? Um, well, we got some... Uh, well, let's start by watering crops. Why don't we do that? Uh, and I think this is how I do this, right? Start here and go... Skadoosh. Did I lose? One, two, three. What is supposed to be right there? Or did I miss watering that one day? I just screwed that up. Pretty sure. Oh, I almost got Bing Cat there. There's something there, and I can't tell what it is. But it's okay. Let's go like that, and now like that. And now I'm pretty sure I got all of them. Sneak through there. Fill up our watering can, and now we can finish. <clears throat> um, so we've got radishes. We can sell those, or at least some of them. I don't think there's anything that I need radishes for. Um... But we'll save a couple, just, you know. I don't think I need them for recipes, but we'll save a few. Now, in the spots that I just watered there, where they came out of, we're going to put... Well, we'll get them in a minute. That's where our uh, blueberries will go. Uh, now, I don't know that I've got enough cash flow for uh, corn yet. Nine times. Yeah, I do. So, should I? Wait. Uh, you go there. Go like that. All right, we're going to keep two radishes. And, all right. Willie wants a red snapper. Again, that's just not going to happen. So, in terms of crops, I would like to buy that corn today. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these with me. We'll go down and check out the traveling cart, see if we can find... Uh, wait, is today the day that... Yeah, gifts reset. So, let's grab a daffodil for Leah. Now, let's go see if our uh, any of our trees have grown all the way up. See, like here, this is a problem. I don't want this little guy growing. Let's keep it clean, fellas. What is that right there? It's got to be a... Yeah, it's a tree or something. Our campfire has been burning unattended for like a week and a half now. It's pretty awesome. All right, let's go say hello to our chicken. Oh, where is she? She's out here. There she is. Little cutie pie. All right, now. Um, we're going to check the traveling cart. Actually, let's go to Leah's first. Then we'll check the traveling cart. Then... We're going to swing back to the house and drop off the tapper and the pinecone. What should I do on such a warm, lazy day? Any ideas? I got an idea. <laughs> That's a really nice gift. Thank you. All right. She's at five hearts. Catching up to Shane. Uh, we do need to head into town again and check that darn calendar. I keep forgetting 
to like make those mental notes about what's next on the calendar because I'm used to having one in my house that I check each morning. So we've got, if she's got a rear seed, <clears throat> just thought of this. If she has a rear seed, I really want to buy it. There it is. Uh, because it's pretty valuable. But now I don't think I've got enough to buy corn. So corn's 150 a piece. If I get nine, that's 900 plus four. That's 1350. So I need 550 bucks, and I'm pretty sure that selling seven radishes is not going to get me 550 bucks. <clears throat> so instead of even exploring that possibility we're gonna do this boom 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 uh wait boom boom and we're gonna do another piece of iron go like that forgot to get the blueberries planted gotta get that done We probably missed two, at least one harvest because of that. Maybe two, but anyway. All right, now what? <sighs> Should probably try and go fishing. First, we're gonna go, we're gonna go into town. We're gonna, oh, oh, oh I see you there. Hey, little guy, stone. Um, we're going to go into town, check the calendar, go to Clint's and have him bust open this darn geode, and then we're going to go fishing. Harvey's taking a smoke break. Not really a smoke break, but he's taking a break, which is good. Good for the old mental health to get away from work for a bit. Speaking of which, I'm taking a half day tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, for me, is the... Uh, well, for everyone, but not by the time you see this. But anyway, tomorrow is opening day of the Major League Baseball season, and I always take a day off. Why do I have a notification about a prescription being ready? I don't think I have any prescriptions. Weird. All right, so corn. Why am I coming in here? I don't even have the money for this. Come on, guys. Um... What was I saying? Oh, every year I take the opening day of the baseball season off from work and just watch baseball. So that'll be fun. Technically, I take a half day because, you know, the games don't start until the early afternoon anyway. So no need to take the whole day off. But then we're off on Friday for Good Friday, or as our company calls it, Feel Good Friday. So, all right. Gunther can tell me about that. Awesome. Look at our money. 777. Seven, seven. On a bad luck day, no less. Okay. Gunther, I've got something for you. And it's going to go right there. And we got a reward. What could it be? Oh, there are some more books to read. Ooh, we got a large futon bear. Cool. Let's go read. What do we have? The Secret of the Star Drop. For thousands of years, people have been intrigued by the mysterious powers of the Star Drop, but no one knows from where it's they came. Professor R.J. Cutler. There's got to be some significance to that name, but I wonder what it is. Let's do something here. Uh, oh, speaking of which, uh, the other day, we hit 700 subscribers. So that's cool. Um, okay, let's go ahead and do this. Get rid of those. You don't need to know where I work. Um, what am I doing here? R.J. Cutler. 
R.J. Cutler is an American filmmaker. Let's look up R.J. Cutler Stardew. There, uh, there should be like some trivia in here, maybe. The Secret of the Star Drop. Okay, it just tells you what it said. Come on now. History notes. Come on now. RJ. All right, let's look up this filmmaker because I wonder if the the War Room perfect candidate in September. I don't know. Interesting. I wonder the connection. Whatever. Oh my gosh. You're seeing these um, pop-ups because I'm on a group text or whatever uh, in Facebook Messenger for my daughter's softball team. Anyway, a leading researcher on strange fruit says this. We've discovered, discovered traces of genetic material on me, me, meteorites that closely resemble the star drop, but it's not a proven match. Regardless of where they came from, the peculiar fruit is said to be uncommonly delicious, and some even claim they grant special power to those who eat them. So star drops taste delicious and might grant special power to those that eat them. And that is star drop, not star fruit. There's a difference. All right. Journey of the Prairie King, the smash hit video game. Did you know anyone who beats Journey of the Prairie King is auto automatically entered into a drawing for a special prize? The developer has stated that the protagonist is based on a real life character, a true cowboy from a prairie island in the Gem Sea interesting a real life character from an island a prairie hyphen island in the gem sea could that be an island that we may visit i don't know who is this protagonist that they speak of what is the prize uh so Pra journey of the prairie king is available to play in the uh saloon um but i believe you need to unlock it like you got to get a key to unlock it all right what were we gonna do i spent all that time horsing around and now i forgot what our plans were i think we were just gonna go fishing weren't we uh yeah let's just go fishing i'm sure there was something else that i'm supposed to be doing but why don't we head down to, uh, let's check the trash here. Ooh, nice, an iron bar. Told you that luck from the our 777 money should mean something, right? <clears throat> All right, I can't remember what fish we've caught for the summer and which ones we still need to catch. I want to say that Dorado is one that we'll want to catch, but you have to go to the um, Forest River to catch it, I believe. So, it, but you got to get there. I think it's only available, like, in the morning, maybe, or until 6, maybe. I can't remember, but bottom line, we'll do it some other time. I'm not keeping track, really, of any th stuff like that. Like, I'm not using the wiki. I'm not using notes. So we're just going to kind of keep on winging it. Our objective with this fishing expedition is really to get stuff that we can sell. <clears throat> uh, can I make it to Clint's in time to bust that? No, oh, I don't want to because I like my money being on 777. <laughs> I could have made it, though. He closes at four. Say hi to Emily. Hello. Where are you going? Oh, she's going to work. Hi, Evan. That's it? All right. I should have gone into Marnie's and said hello to her, 
<clears throat> we need to keep on trying to make her our friend. I'm excited about that iron bar. That's a pretty good find. A red snapper would be a, an even better find. Another rainbow trout. <clears throat> nice. Rainbow trout, if you put them in a fish pond, most of the time you just get rainbow trout row. Every once in a blue moon, though, they will produce a prismatic shard. But it's pretty rare, and their row is not super valuable. So most people who are like, you know, just using fish ponds for some income don't really see the value in that one. Um, there are other ways to get prismatic shards that are more efficient other than like, you know, having to maintain that fish pond forever, just hoping that you get it. What in the world am I going to make for dinner? I don't know. Um, do, do, do you want something? I wanted to apologize for forgetting your birthday. <clears throat> so. Another sunfish. I usually don't catch a lot of sunfish because I usually don't fish in the river a lot. Like I fish only to catch the fish that I need and then that's just kind of it. And a lot of times the first fish that you catch in a playthrough is a sunfish. Regardless of where you're actually fishing, there's a short list of types of fish that it can be. Sunfish is one of those and it's like maybe a 25% chance I feel like, but I could be completely wrong about that. There's Marnie, so we'll get a chance to uh, say hi to her. What is this that's jumping around? Is this a, um, a pike, perhaps? It is a pike. Nice. Hey there, it's good to see ya. Feel free to visit my place anytime. Here comes Haley. Guess I could have waited for her to come closer, but she goes inside. I don't know if I'll be able to get in there. Emily's cooking dinner, but she makes weird stuff like quinoa. Now, how is Emily making dinner when she's working at the saloon until 10 o'clock at night? Like, what time do you guys eat dinner? I like to eat early dinner. But. Usually that's just because my kids get home from school and they're like, Daddy, I'm hungry. Can I have a snack? And I'm like, man, that snack looks good. But instead of eating Cheetos, I just, like, hold out for dinner. And that's why I like to eat an early dinner. Because I see them eating. makes me hungry. And I got to wait. So. All right. Another pike. Come on, let's get a treasure chest with a Neptune's Glaive. Or a Prismatic Shard. If I get a Prismatic Shard... I could put some focus into trying to get the uh, bus repaired as quickly as possible to go to the desert, use that prismatic shard to get a galaxy sword, which is freaking awesome. It's the best weapon in the game, uh, according to most folks. There is a galaxy hammer that does more damage. Um but you can't swing it as fast. Um, and I feel like there's another downside to it, but I can't remember what it is. But not being able to swing it fast is a big negative, especially for people like me who are terrible at combat and just you know, swing like crazy to try and spam my way into a, a successful uh, encounter with a monster. We're getting a fair amount of uh, fish here, so we should end up with, you know, a decent, a decent cash replenishment uh, when this is all said and done. Now, these two gents are going to make their way over here where I can catch them before they go into their homestead. Another pike, it looks like. Looks like a pike. Come on, stay still. 
Nice. Got him. All right, you and you. I already said hello to Leah earlier. Where did she go? <clears throat> All right, we're starting to feel exhausted. We'll head home after this cast. We can walk back with Leah. Can we hold hands? You can't walk without turning off the always run option in the settings. Here. Auto run. Oh, I still out walk her, don't I? But that's much better. That looks way more natural. Oh, this is a special moment right there. I walk her home. She doesn't even give me a kiss. Just goes inside. And then she won't let me in. What is that about? <laughs> okay, so she asked me if I ever get a, a urge to go exploring. And she's like, okay, pretend you just want a free vacation. Where would you go? The beach, a dark cave, the old gnarled forest, or the Joja Mega Mall. Now, again, she's talking about a vacation, y'all. Vacation. I would go to the beach. Most people in this scenario would say the beach, because why would I go on vacation to a dark... Well, I mean, I'm, these are things that I might do while on vacation. You know what I mean? Like, I go to, uh, you know, see the redwoods out west, or I go into a cave. Uh, let's skip that there. You know what I'm saying. Bottom line is, she... Oh, man. I didn't want to click on that. Huh. I think that would get old fast. I don't even... Oh, I think I clicked on the JoJo one. Oh, goodness. Oops. Whatever. She's like, I don't know so much about that. But I don't think that answer really matters in your relationship. So, whatever. Have a good night. Maybe I was being sarcastic, Abigail. Nobody would go on vacation to the Joja Mega Mall. Like, psh, that might be something you do while on vacation, but you're not going there for vacation. You know what I mean? All right. Now, when our little chicky is as young as it is right now, they don't even eat. So, like, even though there's hay out there for them to eat, they don't eat it. Or grass, I should say. Um... They start eating once they get big enough to lay eggs. All right, that's probably enough green algae. We'll keep saving it for a little bit. But I really should think about making a recycle machine. What did it cost? Where are you at, recycle machine? An iron bar? Let's do it. So we need 25 stone, one iron bar, and 25 wood. Now, boom, craft a recycle machine. Boom. All right, we'll come back to that in a second. First, let's put our fish away. I need a pike. Now I have two. I've got rainbow trout. I've got bream. That's it. So, we're here. Sell, 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 and sell. Come in here. Boom. Now you go there. I gotta find a place for this bear. Yikes. Uh, for right now, he can just sit right there. Recycle machine is gonna go, for now, right there. And we'll start with driftwood. So just pop it in there, and a usable resource will come out. All right, so that's the last of stuff that I can really smelt, other than quartz, which we've got five. I'm trying to think of what all I need refined quartz for. Was there anything else that I needed to do before I go to bed? I don't think so. So we'll head to bed. Good night, Bing Cat. Oh, I didn't pet him this morning. What's up with that? Oh, just 
kick him out of the way, why don't you? All right. Yeah, that's a good day right there. 2400 bucks. Those radishes actually sell for a decent amount. 100 bucks for a regular radish? Would not have expected that. <clears throat> so 2500 bucks uh, or 24 and change, which is good, but I'm trying to think of what I want to spend that money on. Do I get another chicken? Or do I save up for my axe upgrade? It's going to be sunny again tomorrow. It is a very good luck day. That's cool. Okay, so we got wood out of the recycle machine. So, watch. We go like this. Uh, you go in there. We'll grab... Glasses will give me refined quartz, which is why I don't necessarily need to smelt quartz anymore. Oh, I don't know why that happens, but anyway. So, we want to come here. Start watering. Oh, I know what this is right here. That's my star drop. Or, star fruit. See, I told you I would call it or get them confused a lot, and I did. So, so we've got our uh, summer spangles already there. Bing cat, come here, please. Hey, buddy. Uh, what are we going to plant here? Do I even have anything to plant? I've got melons. That's what we're going to plant. They're pretty valuable, and they don't cost me any money. So, hey, get. Thank you for moving. So I need to put that down there. Go like that. Boom. All right. What are we going to do today? We should probably take advantage of the good luck and try to go mining. Wouldn't you say? I would say. That's usually a good reason to go into the mines, because the monsters are more likely to drop loot, which is a big reason why we go mining in the first place. So. All right, there we go. Now we're out of water. Get a quick refill. Do that. Boom. Boom. And let's go. All right. You can go in there. Uh, you go in there. Now, the or these are poppies, not spangles. So we've got four white poppies. I feel like you need poppies. Yeah, you need poppies for a poppy seed muffin. So we'll keep... Let's keep three. Sure, why not? All right. Now, the rest of these, we'll sell. Right? Okay, so we want to go to Clint's and have him bust open that geode. I do like the idea of saving until we've got 5000 bucks to then upgrade our axe. Because that'll free up some new and exciting adventures for us. Oh, let's grab the... Uh, no... Um, I'm going to just look to see if any trees are fully grown now that I can upgrade or uh, tap later. Ooh, look at this. Pine tar. Boom. All right. So still no more to tap. Uh, let's go find Vera Mart and give her a little pet. Hey there, little guy. How you doing? <clears throat> Okay, what are we doing here? So, I guess just put that up there for now. Doesn't really matter. Uh, we want to go to Clint's. And then we want to go mining. Right? Ooh, I see you there. Sweet pea. So, Leah should be home. I forgot to bring a gift for her. Um, she found some wild fruits. Sorry, don't have any left. Keep looking. I'm sure you'll find something. <laughs> now who's calling me? Stop it. I 
don't want to talk to you people. <laughs> it's my lunch break, y'all. Ooh, almost ran past it there because I was distracted. Spice berry, I think, was the thing that I was short on. Although it might be grapes. I don't know if I'm good enough friends. I doubt I'm good enough friends with Sam because how many times he's caught me digging through the trash. They don't like that, so you lose friendship points. So like the first A or early on in a playthrough, if you haven't really made friends with anybody, it's not a big deal to dig through the trash because their friendship points can't go down if they don't have any friendship points to lose. Mayor Lewis, okay, I was going to say he might come out of his house, but he's already out. So since he was far enough away, I felt safe digging through the trash there. Get that out of the way. Sometimes he comes out of his house like right at 10 or 11, so you got to be careful with that. All right, I don't have anything for the museum. I want to see Clint. Yep, I'm a blacksmith. Cool, that's why I asked. Hey, Clint, do you happen to know a blacksmith? Yep, I'm a blacksmith. Oh, awesome. Can you bust this open for me? Thanks. All right, uh, did we ever buy the corn? We did not, did we? Let's go do that. I know we talked about saving money for, uh, what's it called? There's Sam. All right, calendar. Ooh, today's Gus's birthday. We can do that. And Sebastian wants aqua marine. We can do that. So we got a lot to do today now. Hey, Marnie and Pierre. Oh, here comes Miss Caroline. So hopefully she comes out here. I guess it really doesn't matter. We got our corn. So mining is uh, looking less and less likely. Because what I want to do is we're going to go give this sweet pea to Gus because he'll probably like it and since it's his birthday that will make us friends hey you remembered my birthday thank you this is great and now gus four hearts so getting somebody a gift that they like on their birthday is huge for the old friendship point situation all right, we're going to run back to the house and grab an aquamarine for Shane. Um, wait, it's a, was it Shane or Sebastian? Sebastian. So we can grab it and then go up to Robbins. See if Sebastian is home. Also, see if there are any recipes for crafting that we can buy from Robin. Because, you know, I talked about saving money for that axe upgrade, and then here I am like, mm, I wonder what all I can spend money on. <laughs> Alright, you go in there, you go in there. Uh, now, you and you are going to go in there. And you are going to go in there. Now we're going to go the back way. Man, I didn't get the mushrooms yesterday. I'm going to do it right now. I've got to start making that a part of my morning ritual. Water the crops, check the mushrooms, check the chickens, and go. All right, let's not carry around something that we can give to somebody by accident. Uh, speaking of which, if you notice, like mushrooms are actually decent energy. And if you do the mushroom cave early on in a playthrough and are looking for a food source, that can be a pretty good one. Morels, not so much on the energy front, but they, I think they sell for a decent amount. Purple mushrooms are a great source of energy. And then red mushrooms are negative energy, so you don't want to eat them. I've made that mistake one time where I was like in a pinch for some food, and I was like, eh, this red mushroom is not very valuable. I'll just eat it didn't look at how much food or energy it actually even gave me and i died <laughs> all 
All right. Uh, let's see here. Calendar. Man, really wish I had enough for that. Two thousand bucks for the calendar. Uh, wooden brazier. Yeah. So I've got some ooh, wood floor. Should I just do that so that we can start on our wood floor? Ooh, rustic plank floor. I like that one better. Brick floor is awesome, but it takes forever to get a bunch of because you need five stone and two clay for every five pieces of brick floor. Um, and clay can take a little bit of, of time to collect unless you know some you know, super detailed mechanics of the game about how to find it. So I'm not going to get into that. Straw floor. Look at all the flooring I could get. I'm going to get this rustic plank floor. And we're going to start laying that as the flooring around the farm. We'll get some of this other stuff later. Like this doesn't do me a lot of good because I need iron and battery packs for it. This one, I need wood and battery packs. Um, all they do is create a source of light. So we'll get those later. But for right now, I can start putting it, the flooring down around my crops to start, make it looking, start making it look awesome. Wait, I forgot to look to see if Sebastian was downstairs. He probably is. And if he is, I probably can't get to him. Because I bet you he's not friends enough to let me into his room. Which stinks because that means we've got to wait for him to come out. And I don't think he does that till like 6.30. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's right. On Mondays, which is like the first day of a playthrough, he comes out of his room at like 3 o'clock. Wait, I didn't get the Aquamarine to give him. Dang it! He comes out of his room for a little bit, and then he goes back into his room and doesn't come out till 6.30. Ugh. See, I, I almost executed that flawlessly. But he's going to be back in his room by the time I get there, I have a feeling. And then we won't be able to get to him until 6.30. He comes out of his room, and I think he goes to smoke a cig. I'm getting rid of this grass. I don't like it. But anyway, um, boom, aquamarine, let's go. We can still probably get into the mines and do a little bit of mining, but my fear is if I do that, I miss Sebastian, and then I got to deal with finding him tomorrow, and I would rather just get that help wanted ad done today. So let's sneak back into the house and see if he's still upstairs. And if he's not, yeah, dang it. Yep, he's going to be in there till 6.30. Two hours, and he comes out. And I think he comes out um, and comes over here to smoke a cigarette. So we're going to come right here and fish in the very spot that he's going to come and stand to smoke. So, <clears throat> I see the bubbles out there, but I can't reach them from there. I would have to go all the way around to the other coast to even have a chance to be able to reach him, those bubbles. And I don't think it's worth it. In fact, they're gone already. Okay, so we got the chest, and is this going to be a sturgeon? Nice. Bait. Y'all, my phone is exploding. Sorry. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh, baby, here we go. Another chest. 
Very good luck day. You see, that impacts stuff like that. Got a bass, which is nice. Come on with the two iron. Give me something awesome. All right, in about an hour or so, we should hopefully see Sebastian. Actually, it'd probably be about an hour and a half. So we'll hopefully see him start walking out this way. We'll give him that aquamarine. And then I don't know what. Probably should try and find some trees to cut. Problem is, there aren't really any for me to cut except for way down on the other side of the map by Leah's house. So it'd take me an hour and a half just to get down there. And if he's going to get here at 7-ish, that's... And it's probably going to be after 7 by the time he walks into the screen. That's questionable as to whether that's even worth that trip. I think we're better off just fishing until we're out of energy. Or even maybe just going back to the farm and fishing away the remaining energy that we've got. So, holy moly with the messenger updates. So, so far in this playthrough, I don't think there's any question that our biggest source of income has been fish. <laughs> um, eventually, that will change. Probably, I'm kind of hoping that that changes by fall, but we'll see. Look at this, more bubbles. Those aren't very far from the coast, though, and I don't think it's worth it. I want all high-quality fish. And I'm not going to get them casting right there. There he is. Right on cue. Hey, man. Hey. Uh, can't talk to him. Hey, thanks for the help. It's just what I wanted. Now, A, we got 540 bucks for that. And B, where are you at? Does that give me two hearts? It does. So now we can get into his bedroom from now on if we need to. So that's all good in the neighborhood. That doesn't even count as a gift. And you still get all the friendship points. So, see, he's sitting there smoking. That's just not cool. Maybe it's vaping. Which, as far as I know, is healthier, at least. But still, a lot of. There's not a lot of data to the safety of vaping. So, we know what we know for now, but we don't know what we don't know. Anyway, alright. We got an ancient sword that we can donate. That's cool. We got a bunch of fish that we can sell, and we're still not out of energy. Actually, let's do this cast and then go back to the farm. And we'll go ahead and stick that driftwood straight into our recycle machine. Um, did we talk to Linus earlier? Hey, man. Uh, apparently we did. Okay. We're going to go check the train station area just to see if there are any forageables. Probably not, but we'll look. Hey, there, little bunny. There is this. Clay. Okay. All right, heading home now, and I think tomorrow we might try and maybe spend a day chopping some wood. Um, in fact, it's 9 o'clock now. Instead of going fishing, I might um, try and cr craft the flooring to put down around my crops. I don't like this situation here, but I can put it around the rest it kind of give you an idea of what it'll look like. So, all right, I need another sturgeon. Boom. I don't need anything else, right? You go in there. Uh, now 
you go in there as well as you. Go like that. Pick that up. Anything need to go in there? Nope. All right, so sell, 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 sell. I might actually need some of these mushrooms. I definitely need the purple one. I don't need anything else, though. Okay. So, sell, sell, and let's put this up here so we remember to drop that off. I don't really need to smelt anything. You know, I could smelt quartz, but again, if I put uh, glasses or a broken CD into the recycle machine, a lot of times you get refined quartz. So, and it's free. I don't have to use coal or the quartz for it. Um, now, let's grab that and craft... Ooh, look at that. I don't know what that was for. It's a DIY achievement. It's for crafting a certain number of items. I don't know what number, but there you go. Okay. Now, it's going to go like this. Boom. That's how I want that. It'll look better in the daytime. I think. So, we'll find out. But anyway, uh, you go in there. Right? Crafted items go in a black chest. Man, we're getting close to where I'm really going to want a shed. Because I don't like having all these chests out. We're running out of space there. I'm already sharing a summer chest with my fall stuff, so I just don't like it, but we'll figure it out. All right, let's go broken CD, boom, boom. All right, I think that will do it for, actually, we got a little bit of time and energy before midnight, so... Get a couple of casts in here. Maybe we'll get lucky and catch a treasure chest. Cool. It's weird catching like those beach forgeable items from fishing, but apparently you can do it on your beach farm. All right, can we at least catch one fish? <laughs> that would be great. What would be awesome is a fish plus a treasure chest with something cool. But I'll settle for just one fish. It's going to have to happen right here. Nope. All stuff that's not super valuable. But whatever. All right. So sell and all this other stuff for now. Like we'll put... That in there, that in there, that. I'll hang on to, um, we'll hang on to some CDs because I can use those in the morning and get some more refined quartz. So, good night, Bing Cat. All right, that is going to do it for this episode. So, if you have not done so already, please be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment below, and we will see y'all next time.